Welcome to everyone. I know all the seniors seated before me are eager to graduate, so I'll keep this short and sweet. You know, on the day valedictorian and salutatorian were announced, when they called my name, the first thing that went through my head was, oh no, I'm going to have to make a speech. In true high schooler fashion, of course, I procrastinated. What am I supposed to say, I thought. But after a lot of false starts and floundering, I realized what the problem was. It's difficult to write a speech that speaks to an entire senior class. We've all had different experiences in high school, taken different classes, had different obstacles to overcome, and different triumphs. Many of you, I remember seeing your faces around the halls, but I couldn't put a name to them. And that, I feel, is unfortunate. In the immortal words of Bilbo Baggins, I don't know half of you half as well as I should like. In any case, I'm left with the dilemma. What can I say in a few short minutes that will be meaningful to all of you? This is what I have to say. All through your life, you'll be told what you should do. You should major in this. You should get this job. And a lot of the time, people go along with what's expected, simply for that reason. It's expected. They might miss an opportunity because it seemed too out there. They might follow dreams that they realize later weren't theirs. Never feel pressured to do something just because it's the norm. In high school, your choices are often limited. After tonight, though, we all go off into the real world. There are infinite opportunities. Don't miss them. That's all I ask of you. Always be ready to chase after what you want. I think what I'm saying can be most accurately summed up by this Dr. Seuss quote. But really, what occasion isn't improved by some Dr. Seuss? You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the one who decide where to go. These last four years have laid a great foundation. Here's to the teachers, administrators, and families who helped us through. And let's not forget our fears. Despite how different we are, we've helped each other make it. To delve into an anecdote, when I came here, I didn't know anyone. Despite entering this high school in ninth grade like anyone else, it was my first year in the school system, and I was a bit disoriented by the shock. Immediately upon my arrival and orientation day, though, I was greeted by one of the other new freshmen. It was then that I realized what a great group of people I was now part of. So shout out to that freshman, Alyssa Scott, for welcoming the new kid. And thanks to everyone in this class for every time you had someone's back and helped appear through a tough situation. This year has been all about last. Last homecoming week, last prom, last game, and finally, last day of high school. In the next year, we move into first. First day of college for some of us, first time living away from home, first time being adults in the world. This is our commencement. This is the beginning of something. So before I wrap up my speech, I'd like us all to just take a moment to pause and savor this. Okay, that's long enough. I'm proud to be graduating with such a fantastic class. Thank you all so much.